Well, this is a piece of stone I got from Emerus. They have a lot of different colors and this should look gorgeous when it's polished. If you want to see what a stone's going to look like when it's polished, all you have to do is wet it like this. It really brings out the color. And that'll look gorgeous when it's done. And it already had a, an interesting shape to me. So I started working with that shape, making these swirling, swirling hollows. Trying to, trying to get them all to work together. As I grind, I'm leaving behind the texture that I can live with. Although I might end up polishing this right down to very smooth to 1500 uh, grit diamond sandpaper. Uh, one of the other carvers came over and said it looked like uh, something came from outer space, like a meteor or some, some message from space. So we were brainstorming and I thought, well, I might write things on here using the Scandinavian runic alphabet. So you'd be a little hard to figure out, but the letters are enough like the um, alphabet we use, so you can probably get something out of it. But I wouldn't want to put it in English. It'd have to be something kind of mysterious like that. And if I put anything on here, it'd probably be things like peace, justice, liberty, uh, that sort of, you know, love, those sort of things. All positive. Whenever I carve a piece, I always try to make something positive. I'm not at all opposed to confrontational art, but I don't make it myself. My, my art is more meant to be soothing, to help people to center, to stimulate their thinking. And there's this, always in my mind, the spiritual dimension to it.